All right, so for the sauce, you're just gonna mix all those ingredients together, which include mayo, ketchup, sriracha, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, sweet pickle relish, paprika, and pepper. Give it a really good mix and then throw it in the fridge until you are ready to use. So the way Chef cooks the uh, burger with the onions in the menu is really cool. I'd never tried this before. So what you want to do is you want to really thinly slice these onions. I'm talking shave them down into very translucent uh, little pieces. All right, so for the burger, I am going to use 80-20 ground beef for uh, meat to fat ratio. You obviously want a really high fat ratio ground beef when you're making a burger, and you're just barely gonna handle the meat. I'm just gonna cut it into two pieces, each piece three ounces, and once I have that weighed and measured, I'm just gonna kind of roll it as quickly as I can into, uh, into a ball, and that is it. We don't season the meat. We don't mix any salt and pepper into the meat. That goes during the cooking process. So for the buns, I've got some freshly baked sesame buns, and then I'm going to toast them, not in butter, but in ghee, which I had read um, the consulting chef for the movie had recommended. And I'd never tried it with ghee before. I usually use butter, and I have to say the ghee was uh, awesome for making the, the inside of the bun crispy. We got the station all set up here. We got our meat, buns, cheese, sauce, pickles, and onions. We are ready to cook. So probably the most important part of getting this burger right is to have a super hot pan, or in my case, a griddle, at max heat with a good exhaust above to get that smoke out. That's how you're gonna get that nice char. And so you just place those balls right on the griddle. I put some parchment paper over it and then just smash it down really hard with the spatula. And that's gonna get it that really nice crispy char on, uh, on each side. Be careful of the steam that comes up, not to burn your hand if you're not using parchment. In the movie, he uses a cloth, um, which makes more sense, but uh, I like the parchment because then my spatula won't stick to the meat. I tried it without the parchment and it, and it was kind of a mess. So then once you get those guys nice and smashed down, you wanna quickly start working because it's not gonna take more than two minutes on each side to cook. So this is where you start to season the burger. Liberally apply kosher salt. Don't use regular table salt, otherwise it's gonna be nasty and it's gonna be way too salty. But I use, love to use kosher salt because it's kinda hard to over salt with it. So I liberally apply that and then I'm gonna get some ground pepper and uh, crack that over the burger as well. Then after it's seasoned, this is where the uh, the new the new uh, technique that I had never done before fits in, which is we take those thinly shaved onions and you place those right on top of the, uh, the the meat there before you flip it over. And remember, just two minutes on each side. So while that's uh, cooking, I'm going to set up the burger. The bottom of the bun will have the four pickle chips, and then on the underside of the top bun will be the sauce that we previously made. You need a really good sharp spatula to be able to get underneath that meat that's been sizzling on the griddle, and now look at that caramelized texture for the burger. So then uh, in the movie, he does put two slices of cheese on each patty, which is just amazing. So got that going on there, and basically you're just gonna let this cook now until the cheese melts. Again, it's about two minutes. Yeah, that's pretty much the best burger I've ever eaten. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, leave any questions you have in the comments and be sure to press like, thanks.